person barking. The male must be here. Are you done? I think they're done. Okay, the next one that I got is rain. Um, this does not smell like rain. Oh, I've been trying forever. Like I've had so many rain scents. Trying to get like the uh, the smell you get right before it rains in Arizona. But it's like what happens is that um, either the creosote, I think it's the creosote bushes, give off this smell that is just like the best. It's one of my absolute favorite smells ever. And this doesn't smell like that, which I was a little disappointed, but not surprised because it's kind of hard to get, like to find that scent. Um, they have a couple other rain scents or storm, I think this one called storm wash that someone said it smells like right before it's supposed to rain. So hopefully I'll get, I'll get that in the next one and see if it does it. But as far as this one goes, I like it. I do, I like it a lot. I was worried it was going to be super, super perfumey and like cologne-like. Oh, I can't stand cologne smells. But it's not like that at all. Um, it's a really fresh smell. Like it kind of smells like, like a laundry. But not like clean cotton kind of laundry, but like a, like a laundry detergent kind of thing. But it's really nice. It's not, it's not like gross. Definitely like... Um, let's, I'm, I'm interested to see how it's going to melt. Um, if it melts really well, I might end up getting this one in a candle too because it's just a really fresh smell. And that's one of the things, like, I just want my house to smell fresh all the time. I want it to smell so good and it never smells good, hence why I have so many of these, these scent shots. Anyway, um, my next one I got is Fresh Squeezed Oranges. When I did the review on this last night, I was not crazy about it. It was okay. I liked it, but it, I wasn't like crazy about it. I actually smelled a lot of perfume last night, but today I don't get as much perfume. But if I, when I woke up this morning, I smelled it, smelled it again. And when I smell it kind of from farther away, I definitely get a fresh squeezed oranges, like almost like you can smell the rind in it. But when I smell it close, no. That's kind of overwhelming, actually. Ugh. The next one I got is Pecan Pie. I'm heavily disappointed in this one, I have to say. Ugh. I absolutely cannot stand chocolatey, fake chocolate kind of smells, like in a candle. It just, it kind of grosses me out. <laughs> and this has a chocolate, all I can get out of it is a chocolate smell, like a, a fake kind of chocolate. I just... I, I can't, I don't know. I was hoping it was going to be a lot more buttery because to me, like, the filling for um, pecan pie is really buttery, kind of. Um, and I didn't get that. I'm actually thinking about, I'm going to try it on its own. I'm going to let it cure a little bit, then warm it on its own. And then I was thinking I'm going to maybe melt it with buttery caramel to see if I, if I get that smell that I'm looking for. Um, but I was really disappointed. And I don't get any, like, crust or pastry kind of smell out of this at all. The next one I got is Cinnamon Stick, and before I placed this order, I was talking to Jared, and I, we'd been trying to, I've been trying to get, like, good smelling stuff in the house for a little while, and he's just, like, doesn't like candles at all, but he said that the only thing that he would, he can stand to smell is cinnamon or, like, a peppermint, and so that's why I ended up with some of those. Um, so I got Cinnamon Stick. I don't smell cinnamon as strong as I wanted to. I wanted this to be like a straight up, like strong, strong, red hot cinnamon. And I don't really get that. I feel like it's not as strong as I wanted it to be. But this is what I'm going to like here. I definitely smell cinnamon and I smell a red hot cinnamon. It's just not like, it's just not as strong as I wanted. Um, but Jared said he smelled it and he smelled it really strongly and he said there's a lot of cinnamon in there. So... I don't know if maybe it's just my nose doesn't pick it up or what, but it might be when I melt it, it might change, but I'm going to let this one cure a little bit too to see if I get there to the strength of it. Um, yeah. Oh, and as I, I just said with this one, like Jared said, he doesn't like really candle smells, but he does like most of the ones that I got. And he said, you know, that they're okay or that he, he really liked them. So I don't think that it's going to be a big deal because I was all worried that I was going to have to like just be concerned of when I actually burned the or melted the candles. And um, 
he told me the other day, he's like, well, you got into magic and you got into watching anime and stuff. I guess I can handle you smelling some candles. And so I was very excited about that. Anyway, that was a tangent. So the next one I got is Fruit Loops. This one is really good. The first time I smelled it, I will tell you, I did not like it. I was like, oh, what the crap is that? But then I smelled it again about an hour later. And I have to, I think it's because it was on the truck, um, on the UPS truck, and it was kind of getting cold and stuff. I think it just didn't set well. I don't know. But all I got the first time I smelled it was like a wax. But um, now all I smell is, it smells like Fruit Loops. And even last night when I wrote this, I was, I said that I got like a sweet kind of tart, sweet but tart fruity smell, which is what I get. And I wouldn't have connected it to Fruit Loops or like a Fruity Pebbles or a cereal or something if it wasn't for the name. But I do, I get it now. I don't know if just because it sat out overnight or what, but yeah, I definitely get it now. I'm still going to buy some Fruit Loops today to see if I can smell in comparison. This is really, really nice. Somebody, um on the forum said that they mixed this with Fizzy Pop and they said that um, it was excellent. So I'm gonna try that one too. Okay, only a couple more. Lemon Pound Cake. Oh, I wanna like this one so much. I really, really do. Lemon Pound Cake from Starbucks is one of my favorite things. I don't get it very often. And lemon Pound Cake at all or any lemon desserts. I just, I love like lemon meringue pie, like everything. I just, I love lemon desserts, but I don't, I don't get it. I'm definitely gonna let this one cure and I'm just gonna really, really keep my fingers crossed when, um, when I'm melting it. Everybody on the forums, everybody on the message board says that it's so good that they love it. I just get lemon Ajax. Man, I really, really wanna like this one. I don't, I just, Jared said he got like a, he could smell a little bit of the cake in it and he said he could smell icing, but I don't at all. I don't know. I'm definitely, I'll get back to you guys on this one because everybody says it's amazing. I just, I don't know. All I smell is lemon Ajax and I'm going to be so disappointed. Maybe lemon meringue pie is really the one I'm looking for. So I don't know. We'll have to see. The next one I got is coconut. Last night I couldn't barely, I could barely smell this at all. And I can smell it a lot stronger today and it smells just like coconut. It kind of reminds me of suntan lotion. But in like a really good way. The next one I got is buttercream. And I was really hoping this was going to be an exact dupe of the one from Yankee. And when I smelt it last night, it was not. I was like, no, this does not smell like that at all. It smelled like just butter. But I smell the butter, oh my god, I just smell it so much more today. I'm not even kidding, between last night and today, this one is like a totally different candle. It smells almost exactly like it. It's a lot, it's, it's really buttery, that's for sure, but I am getting that icing cream smell, oh my god. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm having an orgasm over here. Yeah, I really like it. It's much better than it was last night. Maybe sitting out really did help. See? Letting it sit helps. Yeah, this was nice. It smells much closer to the actual Yankee um, buttercream, which is what I was looking for. And I really like this, and I think I'm actually going to melt this like very, very soon here, just when I finish this video. All right, so the next one I got is watermelon. Now... I'm almost like tempted not to open it, but I really wanted to like this one. My One of my favorite things in the world is like watermelon, any watermelon candies. I just, I love, love, love. And I was hoping this smelled like that or maybe even just like fresh watermelons. I love the way that smells too. And all I got out of this last night was nasty crayon. Like, it was awful. Oh, awful. Like, I was just like this, it actually made me like start choking when I smelled it. Um, I'm hoping that this one is going to cure really well. Um, Jared put his nose to it and said instantly, watermelon bubblicious. He got it. He smelled it absolutely, like, right away. I didn't pick up on it, so, no. So my camera cut off and I didn't realize until, like, four cents later. <laughs> um, so now I'm going back and finishing. Anyway, watermelon, I was in the middle of saying, 
Tiffa. Are you done? As I was saying, um, watermelon, I didn't like, but Jared didn't get the same scent that I did. He got straight up watermelon bubblicious. He said that, um, that he really, really liked it. The thing is, is that scents are kind of, they're subjective and they're different for each person. So while I may not like this as much as I really wanted to, um, hopefully when I cure it, it'll get better, but other people might like it. Like I said, Jared loved it. I just, it's just not for me. I just get a totally different, not good scent in it. The next one that I got is Coffee Bean, and I like this one, but I'm disappointed in it. Um, the reason why is because my, one of my favorite scents in the whole world is like open up a can of coffee, and that, that coffee bean, like that real rich coffee bean scent comes in, and that's not what this smells like. This smells like coffee that already has cream and sugar in it, um, and is, has been like made. I don't get straight coffee out of it. I get like a sweet scent with it. Which is not bad. It's like you're walking into Starbucks. So it's not a bad smell. I, I like it. It's just not what I was looking for. So in order to make sure I'm not totally crazy, I went and bought a, a thing of coffee. Because I don't actually don't drink coffee. I don't like the way coffee tastes. But I do like the way it smells. Yeah, and it just doesn't smell like this. It doesn't smell like it. Um, but it's not bad. I It's nice. And like I said, it just smells like co like straight coffee with cream and sugar. Nothing fancy. And so it's okay. I don't mind it, but it's not, it's just not what I wanted, but I'll probably still melt it anyway. <laughs> the next one I got is pineapple mango, which to me just smells like pineapple punch. I don't get any mango smell in it, which is not a bad thing because I really like her pineapple smell a lot. So if I just end up with like two pineapple smells, I'm not going to be devastated. <laughs> The next one I got is Georgia Peach, and as you can see, I've already broken into this one. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. This is probably, this one, Fizzy Pop and Pineapple Punch are my favorite ones out of this order. Um, it smells really good. It reminds me, it doesn't smell like a fresh peach. It smells like, um, like peach candy, and it reminds me of two different things. First... When I was on my honeymoon, we were in Disney World and we went to like the Japan that you have in Epcot and they had all sorts of different candies there and you can actually get these candies anywhere but um, at any like Asian market. But it was like peach candy and it had like a fuzz, like a peach fuzz kind of on the outside of the gummies and oh my god it was so good and that's exactly what this smells like. And then another thing it reminds me of is in my hometown there's like this little, like, it's like a Dairy Queen but it's not, it's called something else. Um, but it's uh, just like a home, like a small town kind of thing. And they have this drink called Peach Punch. And that's exactly what this reminds me of. Those two things. And it's fantastic and so amazing. And I melted it last night and it was delicious. Finally, my last one I got was Best Friends. Heard a lot of really good things about this one. It smells really nice. It's a pleasant smell. There's not like, I wouldn't go like I'm going crazy over it. But it is a pleasant smell. It has berries. I definitely smell a berry scent. Like maybe like strawberries and blueberries, blackberries. Kind of reminds me of my grocery haul I just did. I get that. And then I get like a, like a little floral. And maybe a little vanilla. Which I think is what it's supposed to have in it. So I kind of smell a little bit of everything. It's really nice. Alright, so that's the end of my Candles by Victoria haul. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Like I said, please check out Candles by Victoria. She is just like, I just love it. And I love that you can get these little scent shots and try like tons and tons of different scents before you buy. You have to buy like a big candle and you're committed and maybe you don't like the way it smells. So I really, really recommend that you guys check these people out. Alright, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.